Hi, this is Anya Slindy, Solutions Consultant for Toby Dynavox. And today I wanted to go over how we can um, import some pages from Page Set Central into Snapcore First. So within Snapcore First, if you didn't know, we have a bunch of different page sets like aphasia and text and scanning. And so if you're wanting to take some of the features from one and put it into another, these are some of the steps that I've created. So some of the things I get asked for often are visual schedules or um, maybe like a photo album that live within the aphasia page set, but maybe we're using Snap Core First, the Core First page set. And so what I have done is actually added some of these to Page Set Central, which you are looking at right now. And so what you would do is go to mytobydynavox.com and go to Page Set Central. Now, if you are on a locked device, so one that was shipped by insurance and you have not paid to unlock it and you therefore cannot open a browser, the best thing to do would be to do this on a separate um, device, whether that's like a laptop or a computer desktop and use a thumb drive. That would be the easiest way to probably transfer something, assuming you are working with a device that has a, a place for a USB. If you are on an unlocked device, so you have paid to unlock the device for full capabilities, you can open up a browser straight on the device and go to Page Set Central through there and do everything directly on the device. Now, I'm on Page Set Central and it just happens that I have just uploaded these, the photo album menu and the schedule and calendar bundle. Um, so that's what's popping up first. But if you were looking for it, you could definitely search for photo album or schedule. Again, there's a lot of things in here, even like coronavirus resources um, and pages for that. So you could search for a lot of things and you wanna make sure it is skimmed down to snap core first and then also English. So what you're gonna do is click download and download. I've already actually done that several times. So I'm not gonna do it right now, um, but you would want to make sure that this is saved to either just the device or to your thumb drive that you are gonna be using. That is the first step. And now we're going to go into Snap Core first. Okay, now that we're in Snap Core first, what I wanna do is take a look at um, wherever I want it to go. So for me, I'm choosing to put it under my dashboard, but it can go anywhere, any empty, any empty button. My top right, I'm gonna click on edit and I'm gonna first do my photo album. So I'm gonna name my button. Then weirdly, I'm gonna go to page and click on import export and I'm importing right now from a local file. I'm going to browse. You might have to look for your um, thumb drive if it's on your thumb drive. And then next, import, done. Next, I'm gonna go back to button. I'm going to link to a page that I just pulled in. It's gonna be an existing page and it is going to be photo, album menu, create. Next one I'm gonna do is my calendar. I'm gonna name it schedule. Same thing, I'm gonna to go to page, import, import, local file, browse, and schedule. Next, and then import all of that. And then done, back to button, link to page, existing page, and calendar menu is what I'm looking for. That's like the head button and then done. So now I can click in photo album and I have my photo album. If I don't want it to say photo album, I can go back into edit mode, photo album. I can just take off this action of speak. Same for schedule. I can take off that action by just deleting that. So now if I go in here, I now have my daily activities I can edit. Uh, my weekly schedule that I can edit. And these are all normal buttons. So you can just click on here um, and say, I don't know, Netflix on Sunday morning. So these are all editable. Hopefully that's helpful um, for pulling things in from Page Set Central into Snap Core first. Um, reach out to your local consultant if you have any questions.